Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In my last video, I talked about cloud computing and its seven awesome features. Today, my topic is three cloud computing service models, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. Cloud computing is about delivering computing services remotely over the internet. Cloud computing services are relatively new. The term cloud computing appeared in 1996, and the cloud services became a commercial and a profitable practice ten years later when Amazon.com released its product, Elastic Compute Cloud, in 2006. By 2008, cloud services became very popular, and many companies were switching from traditional on-premises model to cloud. Computing service models. Then, what is on-premises model? The on-premises model refers to the traditional way of handling software and hardware in most companies. If we were a company or organization, we would build an IT department and hire IT professionals. We would buy switches and servers. Find a space to house them, supply the power, hook up the cables, and set up networks. We would install operating systems and applications. We would do the troubleshootings too. All these require expertise and manpower for planning, configuration, management, and maintenance. Traditional on-premises model gave us absolute control over IT resources. This is like making and cooking pizza at home. We must buy all the necessary materials to make pizza. We must have a place to make a pizza and a stove to cook pizza with. IaaS, infrastructure as a service. IaaS is like renting a data center from a cloud service provider or CSP. In this model. We, as cloud customers, don't have to worry about how a CSP manages their servers, storage, and networks. Our job is to manage the operating systems, middleware, data, and applications. Using pizza as analogy, we don't have to buy a place with a stove. We can rent such a place with a stove. All we need is to buy necessary materials to make pizza. Or simply buy a frozen pizza from a grocery store and bake it at home. PaaS, PaaS stands for Platform as a Service. This service model provides a platform for developers and companies to create, run, test, host, and deploy applications. It takes away a lot of concerns and issues we would normally have about the operating systems and hardware configurations. This service model allows us to focus on applications and data. This is like a calling a restaurant to deliver a pizza to us. All we need to do is to make a phone call, set up a table, fix some water or soda to drink. And then wait for the delivery. SaaS stands for Software as a Service. In this model, cloud customers outsource almost everything to cloud service provider, infrastructure, data storage, networks, and applications. The amount of the configuration, management, and the troubleshooting at the customer end is minimal. As cloud customers, we do not need to install any special software or hardware, as long as our computers have a browser installed. Sometimes we call these type of computers thin clients. We are good to go. SaaS would be more beneficial for many smaller companies. They simply buy some thin clients, monitors, and keyboards. All data storage, processing power, and most applications are in the clouds. Back to my 
pizza example, S A S is like going to pizza restaurant. All we need is to find a table and enjoy the pizza. By the way, pizza is my favorite food, not rice. Pepperoni with pineapple is my number one favorite recipe. In the late 1990s, when I was a graduate student in Atlanta, Georgia, I used to go to pizza buffet called CC's. It was cheap. For only three dollars and twenty-five cents, I could eat as much as my belly is allowed. At one time, I ate twenty-one pieces of pizza. Well, I tell you, I'm a little person with big hollow legs. Twenty-one pieces of pizza was still too much. I remember on that day I could not be able to stand up and walk out the scissors after twenty-one pieces of pizza in my stomach. I was very pathetic. Now let's look at three cloud computing service models in the form of a pyramid. IaaS is about infrastructure. The basic IT facilities. Examples of IaaS include Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Apache Cloud Stack, Google Compute Engine. On the top of IaaS is PaaS. PaaS is about a platform. Examples include Google App Engine, AWS Elastic Beanstalk, Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud Platform. SaaS is sitting on the top of the pyramid. SaaS is about software or applications. Google Apps and Microsoft Office 365 are two examples. Now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing. I summarize the advantages of cloud computing with three A's: adaptable, accessible. And affordable. Adaptable cloud customers are able to decrease or increase IT resources quickly and easily to meet their business demand. Two, accessible. It means customers can access cloud services anytime, anywhere. Affordable. Cloud computing is a pay-as-you-go model. And is more economical, especially to smaller companies. They do not need to build the whole IT department with a big data center, while all they need are two servers and several switches for their business operations. I use three L's to summarize the disadvantages of cloud computing: lack of security and privacy, limited control, and locking. Lack of security and privacy. We let cloud providers handle our data, and we also expose every component of cloud computing over the internet. Limited control, since cloud service providers own and manage the entire infrastructure, cloud customers have minimal controls. Lock-in. By lock-in, I mean vendor lock-in. Switching between cloud service vendors can be very expensive. With the pros and cons considered, we can expect cloud computing to be a combination of different service models to provide a balance of flexibility, scalability, security, and control. In my next videos, I will talk about four different deployment models of cloud computing. Please stay tuned. <music>